This is Twit. Alice writes, Hi, Micah and Rosemary. My daughter is having a problem with her email. Could you please help her? She has a recent iPhone with iOS 16.2. She also uses a 2021 MacBook Air with Ventura installed. Love it, Alice. We've got, we know the the operating system. We know what year. Uh, She uses the iOS mail app on her phone to check her Gmail. When she deletes an email in that account, it does not simultaneously delete on her MacBook. But if she deletes an email in the mail app on her MacBook, it does simultaneously delete on the phone. It used to delete on both devices seamlessly, but a couple of months ago, it stopped. She has restarted both the iPhone and the laptop, updated the software, and looked for settings that might have been changed. We can't seem to solve the problem. I suggested that she delete the Gmail account on the iPhone and then reinstall it. She's nervous about doing that, afraid it might be difficult to reinstall. Do you think that could help, and is there anything she should should do or know about deleting and reinstalling it. Do you have any other suggestions? Love your show. You are both so knowledgeable and helpful. We appreciate whatever help you might offer. Thank you, Alice. Alice, wonderful questions. First and foremost, the, the most important thing to understand here is email used to work a whole lot differently from how it works these days. Uh, Back in the day, when you would get an email and you would download it to your machine, you would quite literally download the whole thing to your machine and it would be this file and it would be there on your machine and you, in deleting it, would lose it. It'd be gone. But the modern way that email works is more like uh, the way that the photos library works. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a comparison here. So, um, it used to be, think it, let's, let's think about birds. <laughs> okay. Uh, it used to be that the Robin from the tree would fly down and land in your palm. And then you would have that Robin and you could archive that Robin, or you could, uh, reply to that Robin. You could send, you know, forward that Robin along to someone else. The way that email works now is instead you've got a pair of binoculars. And so you look up at the robin that's in the tree and you can see it and interact with it exactly as you need to without ever having to kind of have it. Okay. So email kind of exists on a server somewhere and your local machines give you the ability to view what is there on those servers. Now, some email applications will also do downloading. And if there are files attached, obviously you're downloading those. But for the most part, it is simply kind of viewing what's available on the server. So in having this concern about deleting the account, that's not really going to be an issue because when you uh, go to add it again, it's just going to kind of refresh and have everything there. Now, what it sounds like to me, Alice, is at some point, um, a a refresh setting may have changed on the Mac. So where before you were seeing kind of an instant response where those emails were, it was syncing from whenever the phone did it to when the the, uh, Mac did it, something somewhere is not quite as quick as it used to be in keeping those two in sync. So uh, with, with, different applications with different mail applications there are kind of different technologies being used where one it it has this um this little message that gets gets sent out from the server that says hey an update has happened so you better come and take a look and see what's going on here it's like the bird is chirping at you from the tree and the other one is not a bird chirping at you from the tree it's that you in your mind go oh i should pick up the binoculars and look at the bird so you every five seconds every 10 seconds every 20 seconds go and see if anything's changed versus the other one where the bird is telling you hey i've changed you need to look at this now and Mm -hmm. with gmail that is the one where you kind of have to go and look again um, to see what has happened and i think that these two might be out of sync Um, it's possible that removing that Gmail account, which again, should not be an issue, will uh, fix this this change in the syncing. But I'm curious, Rosemary, if you have any thoughts on how, uh, if if, if that's uh, the way that you would go with it or if uh, there's some other suggestion you have. Yeah, so I would actually um, install the Gmail app or go to mail.google.com and look in there uh, just to make sure that everything that is uh, what you've done on your Mac is there uh, just to make sure if it isn't then that points to the Mac being the problem rather than the iPhone being the problem Um, but one of the things that strikes me is um, a lot of folks do this does your daughter maybe keep her phone in low power mode all the time 
Um, because if you're in low power mode, then one of the things that your phone will do to preserve battery is to slow down slash stop automatically refreshing email in the background um, until you go in and manually like pull to refresh or you open the app and then it goes and it looks for emails. Um, and Gmail in particular doesn't have the ability to go, uh, hey, iPhone, there's a new message. Um, so your phone is going out and looking. Other things like uh, Microsoft Exchange usually have the ability to come to your device and go, hey, there's some new stuff on the server. Can you go look at that for us, please? Um, and then your iPhone will, will go fetch the data. Whereas it on, you know, with Gmail, what your phone has to do is every so often it has to go and look for stuff. Um, and if there's a lot of stuff happening, if your daughter maybe gets a lot of email, maybe there's a lot of subscriptions in her inbox, um, then it's entirely possible that the phone is just struggling to do that, especially if she's locked in low power mode all the time. So I would double check um, in Google Mail itself to make sure that things are there as you uh, expect them to be. But I suspect that all it is is um, just delete the account in the iOS settings app, add the account again, and I, she'll probably be good to go. If she's had an iPhone for a while, um, then um, I suspect that what it is is th uh, the account settings have just come along with her for a really long time. Um, and, um, you know, even though she's gone through new iPhones, if she's restored um, her backup, then that those settings will have stayed the same likely um and it's possible that something's just got a little bit out of sync somewhere but she shouldn't lose any data at all um so yeah i would i would recommend going and doing that tech break is brought to you by aci learning choose from aci learning's course catalog or let them custom design a course to address your specific needs with training in internal audit IT audit, cybersecurity, IT certification, and more. ACI Learning has everything to future-proof your team. Visit acilearning.com and learn how ACI can power up your IT team. 